Hi guys, it's Tina with Tina's Inspired Art here again. Welcome and thanks for joining me. I'm going to do another Dutch pour today. I am going to flood my canvas with my interior paint. The brand of choice that I'm using today is the Walmart Color Place Interior white base paint I have in my very large bucket right here. This canvas is an 18 by 24 inch. Um, so I have a design in mind. Not I have not done this design yet. Um, so we'll see what it looks like. We'll see what it turns out to be and wish me good luck. We're gonna have some fun. So I will flood my canvas, put you on high speed through this portion of it, um, just so you don't have to wait through that part of the video, unless you just like to watch it. But basically I'm going to just flood my canvas with um, a fairly good amount covering the entire canvas along the sides. I'll clean my sides and then I'll come back and we'll have some fun, okay? Well, I thought I was videotaping this process, but apparently it was not. So this is the blowout and now I'm going to manipulate this blowout. So I will uh, take you through this process at least, okay? I apologize. I am going to start about right here, I think. Go right here. So this one is different than I normally do, but we'll see if it's something that we like. The blowout looks somewhat what I was intending, so that's good. <laughs> somewhat, I should say. But uh, yeah, we'll see what the outcome looks like. Tell me if you like it. I think the colors kind of mono, I think it is monochromatic look. It, um, they blended quite nicely. So we'll see how it all looks in the end. If I do it over again, I think I'm going to do the bottom part a little bit different, but I am liking the look of it for sure. Hopefully it'll dry really well. Let's 
Sometimes you just never know if it's going to dry good or not. So, hope for the best. And maybe you will find some inspiration. Or you like this piece and you want to include it in your home. And if you'd like to have this piece, it will be available on my, in my shop, website shop. And you can find it at tinasinspiredart.com. Uh, I'll be posting it on my Facebook and Instagram. And of course you can, obviously you're watching it on YouTube. Tell me what you think though, if you like something like this. What colors do you guys like? Is there something in particular that you would like to see me do in the future? Or are there specific colors in your home that you could see a painting of mine in your home? Just let me know. Let me know what you like. Who knows, you might find something that I'm videotaping and you could see the whole design and making of the actual original painting in your home. Wouldn't that be super cool? I love that. I love when I can do something for someone to put a smile on your walls. That's my slogan. Making your walls smile. That's it, guys. That's what I love to do. It's fun. Let me get this one. I'm going to incorporate it through here. I think with this painting, you can hang it in the vertical direction, but either vertical, like this, like I'm standing, or you can hang it where it looks like they're just dripping down. They look somewhat like feathers or a plant or just some, some kind of a different flower, wheat looking thing. So um, it's very soft looking. It's quite cool. Yesterday, or the day before yesterday, I did the very large green with golds pour. If you haven't seen that one, it was a 24 by 48 inch. It was very large. 
but boy, that one is drying beautifully. It looks stunning. It looks very tropical, very fresh and modern. It's super amazing. I've had so many good vibes on that one. So many people from all over the world have really loved that piece. So getting a very good vibe that people are into that greenery look. I like it because that's what I really love to do is making it look like it's nature and plants and fresh. This one's definitely looking like it's a plant. Just real natural looking. I could see this anywhere, really, in a home. Just really soft and fresh. I'm going to have to scrape my sides real quick before I get too far down the line. And all I'm doing is just, you can take a popsicle stick or something like that, but I've got my fingers and I'm just going to use my fingers for now. And that works. Got my hair up because I don't want to put my hair in my painting and yeah didn't do anything but wake up drink some coffee and decided to go paint so here I am in the raw <laughs> all natural but it's okay. I'm going here to make a painting. And later I can take some pictures. Bring you down for a close-up on this one and my previous one so you can see what it looks like. But ooh, I'm liking this view too. This it's uh, going to be a pretty one for sure. I'm liking it. I'm liking that transition of the colors. I'm glad I did that. Isn't that fun when you try things and you feel good about it and it just gets your creativity going to think about other things that you might want to try as well or inspiring others if you're inspired let me know let me know different things that you might be trying as well that's the beauty of this kind of network artists love to share artists artists are a great network of people i've never met anyone any group of people other than artist networks that love to share and that is something that I truly admire in the traits 
that come with being an artist is you love to share. I appreciate so many artists that I've seen that have helped me in my journey. And um, to call out a couple that I really admire, um, Canela Sirocco is an artist that I follow on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram as well. So you, if you're not followed her, you definitely want to check her out. She's very good at sharing what she does, her whole journey, um, little bits of her life, and um, all her talent. She's so willing to share, and I'd, I'd love to call her out as one of my favorite artists that I like to follow on all those social media platforms. I've learned so much from her. She's in Canada, but um, yeah, she's definitely one that I've learned from. Now this particular signature style that I'm doing right here with the pen, the end of my paintbrush is something that I've created myself. And um, I haven't seen anybody do this part of it. It's just something that I decided to do one day and started loving it. And this puts a, my own little spin on these Dutch pours and I just like how they turn out. I've gotten good response from so many of my Facebook groups that I'm part of. Um, so I like to do this piece of it. Adds a little bit more interest. To all of my paintings. So if you're not already following me on my Instagram account, um, you can log on or find me at tinasinspiredart.com and my Facebook account is the same, Tina's Inspired Art. I also post from my, my Facebook account, Tina Selleck as well. And uh, I have a TikTok account that I just started to help make some videos. So we're getting out there and we're making it happen. It's slow, but I'm doing my best. It's all new to create these videos and post them and got to be bold and brave and you want to be able to share with the world what you do. So that's why I am learning as I go. But I've learned a lot. And I never want to stop learning. I never want to stop experimenting. So it's going to be a wonderful journey after retiring from corporate America, being in corporate America for 25 years, um, being able to do what you love is a blessing. And 
I am super humbled and super proud and excited for what the future holds for all the creativity I will be able to experience. You just have to be brave and get out there if it's a dream that you have. You can't wait for someone to make it happen for you. You just have to do it. So this is what I've decided to do. I appreciate you all watching and seeing this process. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm going to take you down for a closer look. Thanks again. Hey guys, I'm back and I wanted to take you in for a closer look of this stunning little beauty. Again, this was on a 18 by 24 inch canvas. I used a base white interior paint. This is a Dutch pour and I've used colors in a kind of a chromatic hues, starting with black, silver, iridescent white, went into the bronze hues of a kind of a medium bronze, a light tan, overlaying with a light bronze, and then a gold. So if you have not already seen my previous video, of how I did this, then please go to the YouTube channel to watch the full video. There is a portion of it that for some reason did not take, but hopefully you get the idea of how this was created. I hope you like it. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you like, guys. I think this one is a beauty and I may try this with other colors as well, but there is some shimmer, some shine, some style. I think she's a winner. Until next time, love you all. Thanks for following. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.